Hardinge manufactures collets, pickoff collets, guide bushings, and bar feed collets for all brands of Swiss turning machines. In this machining example, the subspindle picks off a part that has a larger diameter in front of the diameter that is actually being gripped by the collet. This is accomplished by using an over-the-shoulder pickoff collet. Hardinge is the world's largest manufacturer of collets, feed fingers, and pads with over 40,000 products made in Elmira, New York. This is a sample part machined on a Citizen L720 Swiss Turning Center using a custom overgrip collet made by Hardinge. The overgrip collet has a widespread to clear a larger diameter to grip on a smaller diameter beyond. The Hardinge TF25 overgrip collet can be used on the Citizen L720 and M20 machines. Call Hardinge with your individual gripping requirements. To change or install a subspindle collet, loosen the threaded spindle nose cap using the appropriate wrenches. Pull out the collet and clean it before storing it in a collet rack or drawer. Hardinge subspindle collets are hardened and ground. The head angle and the back bearing are the contact areas between the collet and the spindle and are ground to precise TIR. Always clean the spindle so that chips and sludge are not present. Do not blow air into the spindle as this may force residue back into the closing mechanism. Insert the collet and then thread the nose cap back onto the spindle. Tighten the nose cap with the appropriate wrenches. The collet can be actuated via the control panel. Never close a collet without a part or a plug in it. Hardinge manufactures carbide guide bushings and custom bushings like the one used here in the Citizen L720 Swiss Turning Center. To replace a guide bushing, use the appropriate wrenches to loosen the nose cap ring. Remove the ring and pull out the guide bushing. This is a custom design for Citizen's new adaptive guide bushing. It self-adjusts up to five thousandths in diameter to accommodate the more affordable non-ground bar stock. Clean in the spindle and clean the guide bushing before inserting it into the spindle. The chamfered end goes into the spindle to properly guide the bar into the bushing. Replace the spindle nose cap ring and tighten in place using appropriate wrenches. Lock in the nose cap using the face spanner wrench. Hardinge manufactures Swiss type collets for all brands of machines. In most machine models, the main spindle is located behind the guide bushing and can be accessed from the outside of the machine. Remove the main spindle collet using the appropriate size wrenches to loosen the threaded spindle nose cap. Pull out the collet and clean it before storing it in a collet rack or drawer. Hardinge collets are hardened and ground. The head angle and the back bearing are the contact areas between the collet and the spindle and are ground to precise TIR. Always clean in and around the spindle so that chips and sludge are not present. Do not blow air into the spindle as this may force residue back into the closing mechanism. Insert the collet. Wipe off the spindle nose cap and thread it back onto the spindle. Tighten the nose cap with the appropriate wrenches. Hardinge also manufactures a variety of bar feed collets. Collets, guide bushings, and bar feed collets can be ordered online at www.shophardinge.com or call 800-843-8801.